The 6th District is made up of a broad area of Spokane County. It includes Freeman, Cheney, Medical Lake, and Nine Mile Falls. One of its current representatives is Republican Jenny Graham. She's actually one of the better known state lawmakers thanks in no small part to her passion on the issue of human trafficking. It's that same passion that's recently landed her in controversy. Inappropriate sexual situations are happening. You know, trafficking is happening. So that's what my focus is and always has been. Human trafficking is personal to Jenny Graham. Her sister was trafficked and later murdered by the Green River Killer. She posts about the issue frequently on Facebook, trying to raise awareness about prevention and helping victims. We've got to do better. We can do better. That's, it's avoidable. Uh, but it's, not going to be uh, not going to happen until the community recognizes that there's the problem to begin with. However, some of her social media posts link to websites promoting conspiracies. A local reporter published an article about them. Graham objected to the tone of that article and her response, including a profanity laced voicemail, made national headlines. She says elevating the conspiracy theories wasn't her intent. She hadn't paid close attention to the content of the sites. I'm not promoting the websites. Um, that's difficult for me to do if I don't even know about them being these sites. This is something where, you know, you're thinking maybe in the future when you're sharing links and stuff, you might do a triple check to make sure that these things aren't tied in with the more outlandish. Oh, yeah, I'm going to find a different way. As a sitting representative, Graham has other issues she must attend to as well. For instance, the pandemic. You know, we need to do whatever we need to do to protect as many lives as we can and move us, t you know, through COVID to the other side. So if that means wearing masks in some situations, then that's what we need to do. And she's especially concerned about the impacts the COVID recession is having on the state budget. She's one of the many lawmakers who have called for the governor to order a special session to address it. Graham says she'd prefer a surgical approach, but th that will get more difficult as time goes by. If we keep going in the direction we're going, we're going to reach a point where it's gonna require cuts across the board. Graham received about 55% of the vote in the primary, so she's certainly the favorite to keep her seat. But the district is not always fully red. A Democratic representative served there as recently as 2011. We'll speak with the man hoping to unseat Graham, Tom McGarry, tomorrow night. For now in Spokane, Casey Decker, Crem 2 News.